watching on YouTube and welcome back to Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth Hacker's Memory where I just had to re-download all the DLC again otherwise it wouldn't let me open up the game for some asinine reason. It was very, very frustrating because it just wasted six minutes of me having to delete and re-download stuff because the game is stupid. It was very, very irritating as you can probably tell from the sound of my voice. Just before I did the intro here, someone subbed and it was my boy Lone Wolf for 16 months on a 13 month streak subscribing at tier 3. Lone Wolf, thank you so much, my dude. It is insane. You're you're eight months away from two years. That's crazy. That's crazy. Thank you so much for the support, the continued support, my good buddy. Uh, get uh, you in here because you're my mega. And I don't remember what we were doing last time, but we're gonna just do it. Just get get moving on. Oh, that's right. I have to take certain path when. Yeah. Okay. I remember now. Triceramon, welcome to stream. Ah, sick, we got lucky. Do you see that guy doing the weird dance over there? I want to beat him up. Oh, I have I have two of them now. Very good. Let's try and take the leftmost path, path words next. Hidoken, welcome to stream, dude. Oh, man. That was such a horrible way to start a four-hour stream. On YouTube, we're coming up on part 100. For those of you watching on YouTube, you know this should be part 91. For those of you here on Twitch, you would have no way of knowing probably, but part 100 is coming up. It's going to be an hour-long part, which means I'm doing a four-hour stream today, despite our, like, five-minute setback at the start of today. Volcanic Driver, go! Absolutely decimated. Goodbye. Well, it wasn't an 11 minute setback because I had my normal five minutes of not starting stream and then I tried to start stream and it didn't. And then there was a six minute setback from that five minutes. That was a really like, I got into another fight almost immediately. The heck is up with that? How dare you? Taste the King of Fists. Yo, we're like one level away from Boncho Leomon. We might have to over level, I don't remember, but we are close to finally having another Mega. Not a permanent Mega, because he has to digivolve into Chaosmon Balderarm, but a Mega nonetheless. He did just power bomb a boulder, that's what he does. That's, that's his thing. I don't remember exactly what we're looking like right now on, uh... Oh, did the enemy team steal an emblem back? Yeah, I forgot that that happens. I don't remember exactly where we are on, um... Oh my word, this guy has got some threats. Where we are on finishing the rest of the Abbey grinding, but I'm hoping to get most, if not all, of the Digimon to 200 Abbey in today's stream. We'll see if that actually pans out or not, though. Nice in one hit, love that. The Metal Meteor! Ow! Lost Legend, welcome to stream, how you doing? Uh, let's just get you out of here. Ah, easy damage up. Let's go. Now we get to see the boulder animation twice in a row. Uh, you're more of a threat that I have to deal with. Get out of here. This is going to be a four hour stream. Yes. It will indeed. Gotta get that hour-long video for part 100. Make it special. The King of Fists, go! Uh, can I stop only getting one hit, like, literally every time? Okay, thanks. That is one hard-boiled egg. I hope this kills you before you get to attack again. Please die. Dream Master, welcome to stream. Yo, chat, did you guys see the shenanigans on Twitter today? I'm dating this stream, or this video, rather. But, uh, did you guys see the shenanigans on Twitter today about PETA pitching a fit over that, uh, bulldog mascot? It's absolutely ridiculous.
please die to this. It was, uh, it was some football team's bulldog mascot, like, named, uh, what was the thing's name? Uga? It was, like, Uga or something? It was an adorable little, like, white bulldog. It was so cute, just living its life. And PETA, he was, like, at a ball at a football game, because they take him to all the football games. And it was raining during the game, so they put the dog in this, like, fancy little doghouse they had made specifically for him. A doghouse that had an air conditioner in it, made for that dog. And he was sitting there, he was sitting inside the doghouse so he wouldn't be in the rain during it. And then PETA posted on Twitter, like, he looks so miserable being out there. How dare they make a dog a mascot and bring him to the games and give him his own air-conditioned little house? Unacceptable. And I was just like, can you believe these people? How is PETA still a company that, like, functions? How do these people keep, like, making money to stay in business? Chazrock, welcome to stream. Georgia Bulldogs mascot, it's Uga. Yeah, that was it. I don't keep up with sports much. I just read the Twitter moment, <laughs> which is how I get most of my news nowadays. I don't remember which one of these I need to take. It was a little doghouse and it had an air conditioner in the back. Dang it, I took the wrong one again. Note to self, take the left path at the start next time. Not well, this is also the wrong. I think it's left and then middle. Not the Death Parade Blaster. Why does this man have two Edamons? Two Edamons is three too many Edamon. He used to sit on ice during the summer games. Also, he's been upgraded recently. Good for him. But man, I, I saw that on Twitter and I was like, is this for real right now? This dog is in a room with like a little room on the field with air conditioning. You're going to try and tell me that he's being mistreated. Actual madness. Also, yeah, Bulldogs also look sad. PETA did badmouth Steve Irwin, you're right. Like, they did the anniversary, uh, Google did the on the anniversary of, it was either Steve Irwin's birth birthday or the anniversary of his death, one or the other, probably his birthday. But they did the, um, they did the thing where they make the Google, like, main logo at the front page. It was based on Steve Irwin, and then PETA put up this thing, like, uh, while it's unfortunate that Steve Irwin, Irwin passed away, uh, they, he shouldn't have been messing around with animals in the first place. Etc. Etc. And once again, I was just like, man, you guys are really like the scum of the earth, aren't you? Uga is how you pronounce his name. I also saw when I was looking at the Twitter moment, someone had posted a little like some kind of an interview they had done about the dog and said like, yo, this is like the tenth one. Like it's from a line of dogs. And apparently like he has his own car or something that has his name on his license plate that they used to transport him to the games. And it's got a license plate on the back that says Uga 9 or something like that. And the people that are in charge of the dog have already, like, gotten the license, place, uh, license plates registered for, like, Uga 9 through 25 or something. Like, that dog probably lives better than, like, most people do. And PETA's trying to come out and be like, how dare they mistreat him. It's actual madness. All right. Get back up, Pile Volcomon. I was too busy talking about PETA's stupidity to pay attention to how I was playing the game, and I let stuff die. Let's also throw out a medical spray to be safe. I need to buy more medical spray soon as well. Yeah, we're running a little low. This Oga is number 10. His lineage is worth a butt-ton of cash. I mean, see, I think it's a really, like, cool thing, to be honest. Why not have, like, a, a lineage going for your dog mascot? That's not, you know... That sounds exactly like the kind of thing you'd want for, like, merchandising and all that in a, a sports team. As long as the dog's living the good life, and from what I saw, that dog is living a very good life. I forgot you had acceleration boost now. Ah, oh, nice and para. Let's go. Give me some crits. Your boy needs some crits. This thing is way bulkier than anticipated. Uh, 
Please give me three hits on the acceleration boost. I'm going to lose my mind. Yes, please, poison. Please, please. Let's go. The ultimate play. Genius moves. Tennessee also has a dog mascot. Yeah, I have a... Uh... Do they have like a living one like uh like Oga is? I didn't know that. I knew that their mascot was a dog. Really prefer if Wergar Ruruman did not go down. Forgot his name, but he's some kind of hound. A hound dog doesn't surprise me at all. I can't wait to have Marukimon back in this playthrough, by the way, chat. It's not far off, and I am super pumped. Hey, damage up. Let's go. Actually, I had a nice Pyodramon figure when I was little. That sounds cool. Uh, I'm already acceleration boosted. Nice. I was about to say I'm not going to bother using acceleration boost because he's almost dead, but... I already had one set up anyway. A little late to be bothering with X heal, but I appreciate. Oh, my goodness, set my throat. I appreciate it nonetheless. Please die. Nice, thank you. Much appreciated. Look at all that experience. Holy cow. We have some Digivolvings and Degenerations to do once we get back to the, uh, the Digilab. Which path did I take here last time? I took the far left, right? So take the middle this time, maybe? Rableomon has several options to evolve into. No, I need to take the far right, I guess. It has several options, but uh, we're doing Boncho Leomon. Saber Leomon is also an option. I encountered a Digimon while I was free fallen. Kill you guys real quick, because I'm about to go into the Digilab anyway, and I'll heal. I really hope I already have enough stats on Grap Leomon that I can just Digivolve him to Boncho Leomon. I love that quick jab. Instead of having to overlevel him more. He's two levels over what he needs to be, so it should be good. Oh, Vmon's at level 51. Vmon, I'm pretty sure we have to overlevel a good deal, but that's fine. Alright, let's see here. Boncho Leomon? Let's... Go, chat. It's finally time. He has done it. Boncho Leomon is back. 200 Abbey. The flashy boss punch. All right, we want Valder Arm. You got to have 155 attack and 100 intelligence. And level 60. Oh, my word. We're, you know, you're only 59 intelligence away. I bet if I change you to intelligence type then you'll get enough intelligence by the time you hit level 60, because that's a ways away. It's your attack that mostly matters, and you're well on your way to that much. So uh, we don't have to worry about it until you're high enough level, but I am going to go ahead, actually. I want to move Magna Garurumon and Varadoramon here. We've got to get their camaraderie up to 100%, which they've already got some camaraderie, which is good, but these are the ones we're going to use to DNA Digivolve. Uh, you're at 200 Abbey. When do you Digivolve? Level 60? Level 60 with a lot of attack and speed. Oh, your attack will be close, but your speed will be a little behind. Also, you're already nimble. We'll look at you again once you're at level 60. How are you doing? I have the DJ. Oh, it's from a tournament, right? 145 defense. I, he's getting there. But he's still got a ways to go. I wonder if I have any Aegis Apples or anything I can use on him. I think Aegis Apple is the defense one. Uh, you're at 200. You're done. Right, you're supposed to be Huddymon, and I'm doing the Digivolving and Degenerating on you right now. Almost at 100 Abbey. You'll get to 100 Abbey next time you Degenerate down to Huddymon. Back to Talmon. Oh, you're almost done. Beautiful. We might not get, uh... Oh, you are done! Even more beautiful. I did not realize you were that close. You're Gaelmon, right? Pretty sure. Oh, you'll hit your stat requirements, no problem, probably. Level 50. Might have to overlevel a bit for speed, but that's fine. Waymon, are you done? Nope, but you're about to be. i put you at 196. I'm going to overlevel you a little bit more. What are you at? 159? I'm just going to go ahead and degenerate you, then. 
160. Yo, 69. Can I get some nices in chat? You've got a Digivolve up to Burning Greymon. 140. We're getting there, boys. Slowly but surely. I think we'll have everyone at 200 Abbey by the end of today's stream, except for Huddymon. Huddymon will probably still be working on it, but that's fine because Huddymon doesn't have to go back to Mega. So if anyone is going to be behind, I want it to be Huddymon. That works out perfectly. I have only 59 intelligence. Uh, you guys are already investigating. Perfect. Yusuke's Lobsters, welcome to stream. Good to see you. Wait, Mom becoming a Seedramon type Digimon? He's becoming a... Uh, go left and then middle. He's becoming a... Uh, Neptune Mon. Out of my face. So, chat, I have, uh, by the way, I've definitely come 100% to the decision that I'm going to live stream myself watching the uh, the Game Awards, which I believe is, uh, it's like December 12th, December 13th. It's a Thursday, which I don't normally stream, but I will make an exception for that day. But I'm going to live stream that, probably play Smash or something as well, and Michael and Slyro have both already said that they'll join me for it. So it'll be all three of us playing Smash or something in the background while we're, I think I need to go far right here. Playing that in the background while we watch the Game Awards. This is the wrong, no, it was the middle one. This is the one where I take the far right, you stupid idiot. Yeah, there we go. I got confused with which one was the time I needed to go far right, which one I needed to go in the middle. All right, all right. One more run through, take the middle path. I think I've beaten all of the, all of the enemy hackers too. Neptune Mon is one of the Olympus 12, yes. You are correct. There we go, we got them all. Let's go take this nerd down. Face me in battle, coward. I've actually been playing a lot of Hacker's Memory in my free time because I finally got the complete edition for the Switch and I've just been playing it on my Switch on my own. And it has been a ton of fun. I forgot just how much I love this game. Even starting from the beginning. It's a little rough not having a ton of memory at the start. Because I'm right now, I'm at like chapter 5. But I only have 3 Digimon in my team. Because they're all ultimate. And they take up all of my, uh... All of the memory that I currently have available. Yo, we got a bunch of Leomon just in time to help deal with this, uh... This whatchamacallit here. This Metal Greymon. But yeah, you know, my point being, Digimon is incredibly fun. I really hope Digimon Survive is good. Because if we actually have four good Digimon games released back to back, can you imagine? That would be amazing. I don't think we're going to get Susanomon in this stream, because Kaiser Greymon still has a ways to go on getting all of his Abby. I think other than uh, Huddymon, he's the lowest at the moment. I don't want to hit you while you have your Revenge Flame up. This is 1.5 times effective, so I'm going to keep hitting you. Yeah, because these things are super bulky, and I just need to get, like, one of them out. And then if I have more usable vac uh, Vaxins in the background, I'll uh, switch them up front after I get rid of all these Infermon. Not the destruction cannon. All right, that's fine. Just keep hitting Liliamon instead of me. Oh, that's a little scary. 